Norman scheduled to return to court later this week and newspaper tonight reporting he's expected to be charged with another murder. So far, Hewerman has been charged with the killings of four women. Well, this news comes as investigators search Hewerman's home again late last month. I went news reporter Darla Miles is live in Massapequa Park with our lead story. Darla. Liz, Bill, these potential new charges uh, come just one week after investigators concluded a search of the Rex Hewerman home here in Massapequa Park. And what we learned on Thursday may solve murders that took place 23 years ago, a decade before any remains were found on Gilgo Beach. The rumors have been swirling for the past couple of weeks since the district attorney's office went back in. Uh, two and a half weeks ago and started executing the second search warrant at the house. Two searches in two months, a wooded area in Manorville and the Massapequa Park home of Rex Hewerman. A new indictment against the 60 year old architect expected to be unsealed Thursday, according to Newsday. And while he's charged in the deaths of the Gilgo Four, six of the murders remain unsolved. Primary focus again in that basement, in that vault where the guns were kept and also that little room, it's about a 12 by 12 room right outside that gun vault. The new anticipated charges possibly connected to several April searches of a wooded area in Manorville. The dismembered remains of Valerie Mack were located there in November 2000. In July 2003, the dismembered remains of Jessica Taylor were located in the same wooded area. Then in March 2011, more of Taylor's partial remains were found on Gilgo Beach. In April 2011, more of Max dismembered remains were discovered on Gilgo Beach, but she wouldn't be identified until May 2020. Well, look at these cases, and I'm looking at those two ladies right now. Is this part of that? It seems to be. After the initial search of Hewerman's home last summer, his wife releasing these photos saying investigators destroyed their home. I think this time they went back in more with a forensic approach to see if they could obtain any kind of uh, DNA or any kind of forensic evidence linking uh, New Rex to any of the bodies that have been you know, reported in the media as missing over the last uh, 10 to 15 years. As for the Suffolk County and District Attorney on any potential new developments. There were a number of uh, necessary investigative steps that were taken. You pointed out just some of them. And, uh, you know, Thursday you'll, you will, uh, will see the fruits of, of, of that investigation. So at this point, Suffolk County DA Ray Tierney only saying that there is a proceeding scheduled for Thursday morning. That will be in Riverhead. Rex Hurman is expected to be there.